Yeah. So why did you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Cut. <laughs> okay. Take two. So why did you get involved in the movie? I got involved with Bad Day because I thought it would be a brilliant opportunity for me to kind of break myself into the acting world. Okay, ready? And action. Okay, okay, Billy, I'm moving as fast as I can. Look, if you decided to leave me with this... Oh, I wouldn't even be rushing like this. Right, one more time. So how did you approach your character then? I didn't really need to develop Jade that much because she's quite similar in personality. The only thing I felt like I needed to develop um, was maybe the way she looks because I didn't want people seeing me as Sarah Hardin. I did suggest wearing a wig. That was my idea. I wanted them to see me in, in a different light as Jay Jennings, you know, the, the gangster mole kind of, you know, just a, a cocky loudmouth. Well, I'm quite cocky and quite loudmouthed anyway, but just a different kind of take on things for me I thought was important for this part to be taken maybe slightly seriously. Uh, I think Sarah Hardin was just crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first role ever. Is it? Yeah. No, I think my first film role. You had a lot of rehearsal time, didn't you? How important did you think that was for the film? The rehearsal process was... It was hard. It was definitely very hard because it was learning quite a lot of dialogue and um, I haven't done that for years. I trained when I was younger. What was the hardest thing for me was I was... My first scene was being on the phone, pretending there was someone else on the other, other side, reacting to no one. You know, having that conversation, having an argument with myself, basically. And I had three pages of dialogue to learn, so I found that quite hard. But Ian was really good at pushing me and scaring me into learning the lines, so... <laughs> so... OK, right, so... Am I still doing the whole bang, fall back thing? What's the matter? What was it like working with Ian, the director? Ian, Ian yeah, he, he was brilliant. He was great. He really pushed me, but in a way, I need that. You know, it's constructive criticism, and I do appreciate that. I do need to be pushed sometimes to bring out the best side of me. Hey, cat! I'm a little bit too soon. What's that? What? For what? Just because I, I hadn't got the lighter out. OK. Oh, hello. She's crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he put pressure on for me to learn my lines because when we rehearsed a few times, I'd be like, shit, shit, I can't remember that. Right, well, you can't be going into your scene. You haven't got enough time. You need to learn your lines. <laughs> so I was like, shit, I don't want to let him down. It's my first scene. <laughs> Please, no begging. It really doesn't improve my mood. Christ, Marla. Who set fire to your tampon? What was it like working with Claire Goose? Oh, you see, this is where I feel like I overact. When I'm working with Claire Goose, she's so just natural at what she does. So why don't you just give me a decent excuse for once in your life? Because if that pain goes and you're not on it... And um, I'm quite loud anyway. So when she was talking to me and we were doing our, our part in the scene together, I was thinking, every time we cut, I was like, am I being too loud? <laughs> but um, I, th I think that's just her character, that's Jade's character anyway, which is good. And Claire's is very like, you know, she's meant to be like that. Were you pleased with the movie in the end? Yeah, I was. I was really pleased with the outcome of it all. And I'm, I'm hoping everyone else is. Would you like to do more acting now? I definitely want to do more acting, definitely. I'm not going to run and jump at it. I'm not going to go in like a bull in a china shop. I would like to do it slowly. I've still got a lot of other commitments going on. But the acting is something that was always there and I really want to pursue it, so fingers crossed. OK, thank you very much. That's OK. <laughs>